Welcome to the Madison Miller Podcast. Today is Tuesday, June 1st, 2021. Today I'm going to recap yesterday's Stanley Cup, NBA, Major League Baseball games, and look ahead to tonight's games in those three sports in the WNBA. I will talk about what's gone on in the French Open so far. We'll go over the latest news and notes, and I'll do my best bet of the day. All right, we will start with the Stanley Cup playoffs. We had a Game 7 and a Game 2. Last night, and the Toronto Maple Leafs, again, choke. 3-1 series lead. They wipe it away. Montreal wins the series in seven and wins game seven, 3-1. As Montreal moves on to take on the Winnipeg Jets. The number three started game with a goal, William Nylander. The number two started game with a goal, Brendan Gallagher. And the number one started game at 30 saves on 31 shots. Carry Price. Islanders over the Bruins 4 to 3 in overtime on a game winner by Casey Sezikis, who was the number one star of the game with the overtime winner. Brad Marchand was the number two star of the game with the goal and assist. Number three star of the game with the goal, Patrice Bergeron. One game tonight, 7 30, MBCS, and you have the Lightning and the Hurricanes game two. Should be a good one down in Raleigh. The Hurricanes are minus 110. Tampa's minus 106. Over, under, 5.5. Over's minus 106. Under's minus 114. Tampa plus 1.5 is minus 310. Carolina minus 1.5 is plus 245. I'm going Carolina minus 110. Bounce back spot at a good number. Um, They should even up the series at one apiece today. So I'm going Carolina minus 110 against Tampa Bay as my pick for tonight's game. All right, now we'll do NBA playoffs. Two games last night. We will go over the results from both of those games, and we will look ahead to a little bit of a busier window for tonight. Wizards over the 76ers, 122-114 to avoid the sweep. Bradley Beal, 27 points for Washington. Tobias Harris had 21-13-5 for Washington as uh, Joel Embiid... um, Left the game in the first quarter with a sore right knee late, which is no good for Philly. Jazz over to Grizzlies, 120-113 to to take a 3-1 series lead. Donovan Mitchell, 30 points and 8 assists. John Moran, 23 points and 12 assists. All right, three games tonight, 7-30 TNT, the Celtics. And the Nets, Brooklyn, looking to close out. I project Brooklyn by a whopping 17 total to 28 and a half. Meanwhile, it is 12 and a half and 232. I'm going to go lay the 12 and a half of Brooklyn minus 106. Um, I think they close out tonight with a bang. And they'll be on to the second round to face the Milwaukee Bucks. So give me... Brooklyn minus 12 and a half at minus 106. 9 o'clock at NBA TV, you have the Trailblazers and the Nuggets. I project Denver by 2.5 total to 28. Meanwhile, it's Denver 2.5 total to 26. I have no choice but to take the over. The case is Damian Lillard will go nuts. I think Nicole Jokic will have a good game. I think Michael Porter will have a good game. This is a pivotal game 5. This is now a best of 3. So give me over 226. And last but not least, 10 o'clock on TNT, you have the Lakers and the Suns. I'm at Suns by 13.5, total to 19.5. And this is obviously projecting without Anthony Davis. And it's Suns by 5, total 207.5. Um, this series has been full of low-scoring games. I'm going to go with the Suns minus a 5. Like I said, probably no Anthony Davis. Even if Anthony Davis was there, I had projected 9.5. And, and obviously this line would be a lot lower. So I'm going to lay to 5 with the Suns over the Lakers as they'll take a 3-2 to two series lead. Alrighty, now we'll do Major League Baseball. We will... 
go over the results from yesterday and look ahead to today. Twins over to Orioles three to two and ten. Mini twenty two and thirty one. Baltimore seventeen and thirty seven. Rays over to Yankees three to one. The Rays thirty five and twenty. Yankees twenty nine and twenty five. Brewers over the Tigers three to two and ten on a walk off single by Luis Urias. The trade twenty two and thirty two. Milwaukee twenty nine and twenty five. Reds over the Phillies eleven to one. Reds twenty four and twenty eight. Phillies twenty five and twenty nine. Cubs over the Padres seven to two. A good win for the Cubs thirty and twenty three. San Diego thirty four and twenty one. White Sox over the Indians, 8-6-8 and eight. in the doubleheader. White Sox, 33-20, and 20. Cleveland, 28-24. and 24. Astros over the Red Sox, 11-2. Houston, 29-24, Boston, 32-21. Giants over the Angels, 6-1, so best bet was a loser. San Francisco, 34-20, and 20. L.A., 24 and 30. Mariners over the Athletics 6 to 5 and 10. On a sacrifice fly walk off by Tom Murphy. Seattle 28 and 27, Oakland 31 and 25. So the Mariners were over 500. Braves over the Nationals 5 to 3, the Braves 25 and 26, Washington 21 and 29. Indians over the White Sox 3 to 1 and 7. Game 2 of a doubleheader. Cleveland 29 and 24, Chicago 33 and 21. Royals over the Pirates 7 and 3, Royals 26 and 26, so they're back to 500, Pittsburgh's 20 and 33. Dodgers over the Cardinals 9 to 4, the Dodgers 32 and 22, St. Louis 30 and 24. And the Mets over the Diamondbacks 6 to 2, the Mets 26 and 20, Arizona 19 and 36. All right, today's window, 6 o'clock on Fox Sports 1. You have the White Sox and the Indians. Indians are minus 154. White Sox plus 130. Over, under 7. Over is minus 120. Under is minus 102. Chicago plus 1.5 is minus 170. Cleveland minus 1.5 is plus 140. It's obviously a Shane Bieber and Dale and Cease. I'm going to go with the White Sox as a dog against Shane Bieber. I don't like picking against Shane Bieber very much. But Dylan Cease has been good this year. All due respect to uh, Mr. Bieber. So I'm going to go with the White Sox. Plus 130 against the Indians. 7 o'clock, you have the Rays and the Yankees. Tyler Glass now and Domingo Herman. The Rays are minus 122. The Yankees are plus 104. Over on their 8, over is minus 105, under is minus 115. Rays plus 1 half is minus 130. I'm sorry. Rays minus 1 half is plus 132. Yankees plus 1 half is minus 160. I think the bleeding stops tonight. I'm going to say the Yankees as a home dog plus 104. Um, they got to win this game. Yankees plus 104 is a home underdog tonight. Twins Orioles, Michael Pineda and Bruce Zimmerman. The Twins are minus 178. The Orioles are plus 150 over under 9.5. Overs minus 102. Unders minus 120. Twins minus 1.5 is minus 111. Orioles plus 1.5 is minus 108. I'm going to go with the Twins minus 1.5 at minus 111. Marlins, Blue Jays, Sandy Alcantara, and Robbie Ray. Blue Jays are minus 166. Marlins are plus 140. Over under 8.5. Overs minus 114. Unders minus 106. Marlins plus one half is minus one fifty. Blue Jays minus one half is plus one twenty five. I'm gonna go with the Marlins as a road dog here at plus one forty against Toronto. The Phillies and the Reds, Aranola and Sunny Gray. Reds are minus 110, Phillies minus 108, over under 7.5. Overs minus 112, unders minus 108. Phillies minus 1.5 is plus 168. Reds plus 1.5 is minus 205. I'm going with the Phillies as a road dog at minus 106 with the race on the bump.
Nationals Braves at 720. Steven Strasbury and Max Fried. Braves are minus 142. The Nats are plus 120 over under 8.5. Overs minus 114. Unders minus 106. Nats plus 1 off is minus 176. Braves minus 1 off is plus 146. I'm going to go under 8.5 and, and minus 106. These two pitchers are better than what their stats say. 7-3 to Tigers and the Brewers. Matt Boyd and Eric Lauer. Brewers minus 164. Tigers plus 138. Over under 8. Overs minus 115. Unders minus 105. Tigers plus 1 of is minus 154. Brewers minus 1 of is plus 128. I'm going to go with the Tigers as a road dog. Plus 138. Matt Boyd hasn't been bad this year. 8 o'clock Padres Cubs. Ryan Weathers and Kyle Hendricks. Cubs are minus 116. Padres are minus 102. No total or run line yet. I'm going to go with the Padres minus 102 at Wrigley. Red Sox Astros. Garrett Richards and Luis Garcia. Astros minus 132. Red Sox plus 112 over under 9. Overs minus 104. Unders minus 118. Boston plus 1 half is minus 178. Astros minus 1 half is plus 146. I'm taking the Red Sox as a road dog plus 112 at Houston. Pirates Royals, Will Crow and Brady Singer. Royals are minus 196. Pirates plus 164 over under 8.5. Overs minus 105, unders minus 115. Pirates plus 1 of is minus 122. Royals minus 1 of is plus 102. I'm going to go over 8.5 and, and minus 105. 830 Rangers Rockies, Dane Dunning and Herman Marquez. Rockies minus 120. Rangers plus 102. Over under 10, minus 110 each way. Rangers plus 1 half is minus 196. Rockies minus 1 half is plus 162. That is a low total or high total. So I'm going to go Texas plus 102. Dane Dunning is showing some flashes this year. 930 Mets Diamondbacks. Marcus Stroman and Caleb Smith. Mets are minus 120, Diamondbacks plus 102, over under 9, overs minus 106, unders minus 114. Mets minus 1 half is plus 134, Diamondbacks plus 1 half is minus 162. I'm going a juiced under 9 at minus 114. 945, the Angels and the Giants, Andrew Heaney and Alex Wood. Giants minus 176, Angels plus 148, over under 7, overs minus 122, unders even money. Angels plus one half is minus one fifty four. Giants plus minus one half is plus one twenty eight. Alex Wood's been fabulous this year, so I'm gonna go Giants run line minus one half at plus one twenty eight. Ten o'clock A's Mariners, Chris Bassett and Marco Gonzalez. Oakland minus one sixty eight. Seattle plus one forty two. Over under eight. Overs minus one hundred six. Unders minus one fourteen. A's minus one half is plus one hundred eight. Mariners plus one half is minus one thirty. I'm gonna go over eight at minus one oh six. And last but not least, the Cardinals and the Dodgers. John Gant, and we know what's going for the Dodgers. According to this, it says David Price. I'm gonna buy it. Dodgers minus one ninety. Cardinals plus one sixty over under eight and a half, minus one ten each way. Cardinals plus one half is minus one twenty eight. Dodgers minus one half is plus one oh six. I'm gonna go with the Cardinals plus one sixty. David Price. Um has not been great this year, and he's pitched. He's making a start. I'm going to say Cardinals is a plus 160 underdog against the Dodgers. All right, now I will look at the WNBA window for tonight. After we didn't have any games yesterday because of the Memorial Day holiday. Four games today, 7 o'clock, you have the Aces in the Sun. 8 o'clock, you have the Wings and the hosting the Sparks. 8.30, ESPN, Mercury, Sky, Good Game, Star Power, Galore. If I had to pick a winner, I'd say it would be Chicago at home. I think they need it. And 10.30, ESPN, too, you have the Fever in the Storm. Indiana off to a terrible start. Seattle obviously made some news with the coaching retire, the coach retiring. 
I still like Seattle. They're home. They're dominant at home. Best player on the court. So give me Seattle at home against Indiana. Now we will move on to the French Open. We haven't had time to do French Open yet, so we will do it today. We will start with the men's singles. Um, first round, it began on Sunday. So, five-seeded Stefano Sipias over Jeremy Chardy in three sets. Botique Van de Zonschulp upsets 19-seeded Hubert Herkos in five sets. Roman Safayulin over Carlos Tabarner in four sets. Alejandro Davidovich Fokina over Mikhail Kukushkin in three sets. Six seeded Alexander Zverev over Oscar Ott in five sets. Laszlo Deer over Corentin Maltet in four sets. Marcos Giron upset 16 seeded Grigor Dimitriov in four sets in a walkover. 22 seeded Christian Garin over Juan Ignacio Londero in four sets. Mackenzie McDonald over Emil Rusevori in four sets. Kai or Keen Nishikori over Alessandro Gianessi in five sets. 23 seeded Karen. Kaknavov over Jiri Vesely in three sets. Martone Fuskovitz over Gail Simone in three sets. Pablo Andujar upsets Dominic Time, the, your four seed in five sets. Guido Pela over Daniel Leha Galan in three sets. 11 seeded Roberto Batista Agut over Mario Villa. Martinez in three sets. Mjolmer Kekmovic over Dan Evans in four sets. Evans, obviously, your 25 seed. Henry Laskinen over Yannick Hoffman in four sets. Pablo Carreno Busa, your 12 seed over Norbu, or Norbert Gombos in three sets. 27 seeded Fabio Fugnini over Grigori Barrer in three sets. And last but not least, Igor Garasimov over Enzo Kukod in three sets. All right. Monday first round. Yoshishito Nishioka over Joe. Wilfried Songa in four sets. Lorenzo Musetti upsets 13 seeded David Goffin in three sets. Dominic Kofer over Matthias Borg in three sets. 30 seeded Taylor Fritz over Joao Sousa in three sets. Lloyd Harris over Lorenzo Sonigo in three sets. Sonigo obviously is 26 seed. Marin Silich over Arthur Rinden. Nooch in three sets. Camille Madrisic over Arthur Sizok in four sets. Eight seeded Roger Federer over Dennis Itzoman in three sets. 28 seeded Nicolas Bachevili over Dusan Lajevic in four sets. Carlos Alcaraz Garfia over Bernabe Zapata Morales in four sets. Pedro Martinez over Sebastian Corda in three sets. 32 seeded Riley Opelka over Andre Martin in three sets. Jame Munar over Jordan Thompson in four sets. Two-seeded Daniil Medvedev over Alexander Bublik in three sets. 
Tommy Paul over Christopher O'Connell in five sets. Cameron Nori over Vajorn Fertangelo in three sets. 15 seeded Casper Rudd over Benoit Pair in four sets. Federico Del Bonus over Radu Albot in four sets. Thiago Montiero over Francisco Cernudolo in three sets. Philip Krajnovic over Maximilian Martyr in three sets. Giant Luca Mager over Peter Gozovic in four sets. Steve Johnson over Francis Tiafo in five sets. Thirty one seeded John Isner over Sam Query in three sets. And last but not least for yesterday, eighteen seeded Janet Skinner over Pierre Hughes Herbert in five sets. All right, today we have a final a couple finals down. Twenty one seeded Alex Demeanor over Stefano. Treviglia in three sets. And Marco Cicinato over Yasutaka Uchima in four sets. Going on right now, Gail Monfolis and Albert Ramos Vinolias. I'm going to take 14 seated Monfilis in that one. Seven seated Andre Rublev and Jan Leonard Straff. I'm going to go with Rublev. Adrian Manorino and Elijah Bedin. I'm going to go with Manorino. Salvador Caruso and James Duckworth. I'm going to go with Duckworth. 24 seeded Aslan Karastev and Jensen Brooksby. I'm going to go with Karastev in that one. Roberto Carabelas Bena and Mikhail Yamer. I'm going to go with Karelbus Bayena in that one. You have 29 seeded Hugo Humber and Ricardus Barankis in that in a first round match. I'm going to go with the upset Barankis in that one. And then just underway, you have Fasundo Bangus and Benjamin Bonzi. I'm going to go with Bonzi there. And also underway, you have. Andreas Seppi in 20 seated Felix Auger Alasame. I'm going to go with Auger Asalame in that one. 8.30, you have Philip Kohlschreiber and Fernando Verdasco. I'm going to go with Verdasco in that one. 8.45, you have 10 seated Diego Schwartzman and Yen Hassan Lu. I'm going to go with Schwartzman. Federico Correa and Feliciano Lopez. I'm going to go with Lopez. 9 o'clock, Hugo Gaston and Richard Gosquet. I'm going to go with Gaston there. 9 seed, Matteo Berrettini and Taro Daniel. I'm going to go with Berrettini. 9.30, Kevin Anderson and Kuhn Sai Wu. I'm going to go with Anderson there. 10 o'clock, 3 seated Rafael Nadal and Alexei Papyrin. I'm going to go with Nadal. 11 o'clock, Lucas Poile and Pablo Cuevas. I'm going to go with Cuevas. And last but not least, 3 o'clock, one seed of Novak Djokovic and Tennis Sangren. We're going to go with Djokovic. Tomorrow we'll begin the second round. So we will make the picks for the second round on the podcast tomorrow for both the men's and the women's. Now we'll do women's. We will start with Sunday's first round action. 23 seeded Madison Keys over Osani Dodin in three sets. Layla Annie Fernandez over Anastasia Potapova in two sets. Alexandra Sanznovich over Diane Perry in three sets. 15 seeded Victoria as a rank over Svetlana Kunistova in three sets. 
Katarina Siniakova over Marie Buskova in three sets. 29th seeded Veronica Kudermetova over Amanda Anisimova in two sets. You had Neo Hubino over Nina Stagnovic in two sets. Three seeded Arena Sablenka over Anna Cognu in two sets. Clara Tawson over Ekaterine Gordoz in two sets. Elena Vecina over Olga Govrstova in two sets. 31 seeded Anna Palivenchikova over Christina McHale in two sets. 11 seeded Petra Kvitova over Greet Minin in three sets. 21 seeded Elena Rabinka over Elsa Joquamp in two sets. Danka Kognovic over Clara Burrell in two sets. Alja Tomlovic over Katarina Kozlova in two sets. Danielle Collins over Zayu Wang in three sets. Anna Bogdan over Elisabetta Kokiredo in two sets. Analia Canalia upsets 26 seeded Angelique Kerber in two sets. Paula Bedosa over Lauren Davis in two sets. And last but not least for Sunday, two seeded Naomi Ahsoka over Patricia Maria Tig or Teague in two sets. Monday, women's. Seven seeded Serena Williams over Arena Camila Begu in two sets. Camelia Georgi upsets 22 seeded Petra Martic in three sets. Teresa Martinkova over Ivana Jurovic in two sets. Marta Katsayuk upsets 12 seeded Gabrina Muguruza in two sets. 28 seeded Jessica Pagula over Zulin in three sets. Zhang Saisai over Sarah Cerebus Tormo in three sets. Daria Kasatkina over Masei Doi in three sets. Mahela Buzrekgu over Aranza Rus in two sets. Favara Gracheva over Lara. Ara Barena in two sets. Martina Trevisian over Allison Van Utevank in three sets. Ten seated Belinda Benchik over Nadia Portoroska in two sets. Four seated Sophia Kennan over Jelena Ostapenko in three sets. Serana Saristia upsets 19 seeded Johanna Conta in two sets. Caroline Garcia over Laura Siegman in two sets. 14 seeded Elise Mertens over Storm Sanders in two sets. Haley Baptist over Anna Blinkova in two sets. Tamara Zdensik upsets 6 seeded Bianca Andrescu in three. Serena Dias over Heather Watson in two. Eight seeded Iga Swiatek over Kaja over Kaja Juvan in two sets. Madison Brengel over Maria Camelia Osario Sereno in four sets. Polona Hercog upsets. 16 seeded Kiki Bertens in three sets. Harmony Tan over Elise Cornette in two sets. Rebecca Peterson over Shelby Rogers in three sets. And last but not least for Monday, 20 seeded Marketa Bondrasova defeats Kaya Kanepi in three sets. And then today so far, we have a, a lot of finals, unlike the men's side. Five seeded Elena Civiltinia over. Oshani Babel in two sets. Jasmine 
Paolini over Stefani or Stephanie Vogel in two sets. 17 seed of Maria Sakari over Katarina Zavataska in two sets. 25 seed of Ons Jabor over Yuli Puntenseva in two sets. Asra Sharma over Arena Barra in two sets. Fiona Farah over Leong and Suo in three sets. Um, An Lee over Margarita Gaspirin in two sets. Thirteen seed of Jennifer Brady over Anastasia Sevasatova in two sets. An Lee over Margarita Gasparian in two sets. I think we did that one. And then Fiona Farrell over Liang and Suo in three sets. I think we did all those three. And then uh, Astara Sharma over Arena Barra in two. And then Ons Jabor over Lu- Yulia Punenseva in two. I think we did all those, but I just wanted to recap them because I think I missed a couple of those that I listed. Now underway right now, one seated Ashley Barty and Bernardo Pera. Barty's gonna win that going away. Then coming up at eight twenty, you have Anna Carolina Shimonlova and Christina Mladenovic. I'm gonna go with Mladenovic in that one. Thirty seated Annette Kontovit and Victoria Golubic. I'm gonna go with Kontovit in that one. Eight thirty, you have Wang Kiang and. Shea Sui, I'm going to go with Wang Kiang in that one. 9 o'clock, 32 seated Ekaterina Alexandrova and Venus Williams. Tough one. I know Venus hasn't really been Venus over the last couple of years. I'm going to go with Alexandrova in that one. 9.45, you have Magda Lynette and Chloe Paquette. We're going to go with Paquette in that one. Favara, Lipchenko, and Zhang Suhei. Let me go with Suhei in that one. 11 o'clock, you have 24-seated Coco Goff and Alexandra Krunik. Goff finally getting the respect by her name. We're getting a ranking. We'll go with Goff in that one. Carolina Machova, who she's your 18 seed, and then Andrea Petkovic. I think we go with Petkovic in the upset in that one, actually. Nine seated Carolina Pliskova and Donna Vecic. Gonna go with Pliskova there. And I think that goes three. And last but not least at eleven thirty, you have Carla Suarez Navarro and Silvani Stevens. I'm gonna go with Silvani Stevens in that one. And the second round gets underway tomorrow, so we will talk about that on the podcast tomorrow. All right, now we'll do news and notes. Um. We have some stuff to get to. Um, there's a fan ban from the Wizards Arena last night who ran onto the court and charges are being pursued. So this is the fourth incident we've had in the playoffs in the NBA with a, a fan in an arena. First was Russell Westbrook with the popcorn in Philadelphia. Then at Madison Square Garden, a fan spat on Trey Young. And then in Boston, a fan threw a water bottle at Kyrie Irving. And now we have this with the Wizards. Draymond Green picks the Nets to win the East as he tells Charles Barkley good luck when he says the Bucks can beat Brooklyn. Draymond's just sticking up for Kevin Durant. Well, don't you think? Kevin Garnett calls out Kyrie Irving on Instagram after Kyrie stomped on the Celtics logo after Sunday's game. That's interesting. And the Celtics fan was charged with felony after throwing a water bottle at Kyrie Irving as he was charged with assault and battery with a dangerous weapon. Yikes. 
Jacob DeGrom hitting 474 on the season makes the Diamondbacks pay as Arizona was clearly unaware of what DeGrom's batting average was as um, they intentionally walked the batter before DeGrom and then DeGrom ropes in a run. Chris Bryant's home run destroys a beer as a home run ball was hit and spilt beer everywhere. After the upset win, um, Philip Deneau went all smiles with the Canadians' victory with the slice of pizza during the Zoom, which was pretty cool. Obviously, the hockey world shreds the leaf for blowing, or the leaves for throwing, blowing the 3 1 series lead. Um, and then a suspension was given out to Vegas Golden Knights forward Ryan Reeves for roughing Avalanche forward Ryan Graves or Avalanche defensive player Ryan Graves. And now we talked about the Maple Leafs saw uh, they now have the record cup drought. They'll pass the Rangers with their 55th year since winning the cup. We talked about how Joel Embiid will not return or did not return to game four with the uh, knee soreness. And we talked about how Anthony Davis um, will probably not play tonight. But according to Shams, the Lakers are optimistic that he can return as the series continues. An executive predicted a Lakers shakeup if the Lakers cannot beat the Suns. Um, I think that's a little bit of an overreaction because Lakers won the title last year and they are not healthy this time around and they weren't healthy this season. Naomi Osoko pulls out of the French Open as she tweets that she's taking time away from the court. And she was fined after not doing a press for mental health reasons. Barcelona signed Sergio Oguero on a two-year contract as he pairs up with Lionel Messi. So that's pretty neat. And the last news and note item of the day, Green Bay still won't trade Aaron Rodgers. As GM Brian Gutkunst is holding firm that he won't trade the reigning MVP despite quarterback not attending OTAs. Let's see how this goes. A lot of people now think, after it was a hot rumor about a month ago, that Rodgers will patch it out with the Packers and he will not be traded, but still... Um, a TBD to see where this goes. I think it's more likely Julio Jones is dealt now than Aaron Rodgers, and it's not even close at this point. And obviously, if you have any news related to trades in the NFL, you can find it right here on the Madison Miller Podcast. And last but not least, my best bet of the day, brought to you by FanDuel. Um, there's some interesting stuff for tonight that, I am interested in. But the one that stands out to me the most comes in Major League Baseball. And I am going to go with I like over 8 a lot in the A's Mariners game. So I'm going to go um, over eight, laying a unit and a half on the Oakland Seattle over eight is my best bet of the day. All right. So there you have it for the show today. I'll be back tomorrow with French Open, NBA, Stanley Cup playoffs, WNBA, Major League Baseball. 
and all the other news and notes I'll have for you as well. Maybe we'll do an activity. We'll see. And I think I'm going to have Jeff Burns on Thursday to do the Belmont. So stay tuned for that. I hope you guys have a great day, everybody.